I'm David Kleeman. I'm the Senior Vice President of Global Trends for a British company called Dubbit. It's a research and strategy consultancy and a metaverse studio. Right now, if you ask someone what's the metaverse, you will get 10 times more answers than you ask people. It, everyone has a different concept of what it is. There are some very good descriptions from uh, people like Matthew Ball, who's one of the great strategists of it, who talks about it as persistent and global and always the ability to house huge numbers of people in one place and have them interacting with each other in a way that feels immersive. I try to reduce it, especially when I'm talking to people who make content for children, to the simplest possible ver uh, idea, which is, which is reducing the friction points, the frustrations that young people feel when they go into digital environments. Reducing the frustrations when they play games, when they try to socialize, when they communicate with each other, when they explore, when they learn. And doing that by making immersive environments, making, making places where they can explore on their own, where there's not someone constantly telling them what direction to go or telling them what, what they should be uh, thinking about, but allowing them to, to make the worlds their own and, and often to create the worlds that they're playing in. A couple things about the, about using the metaverse to, to provide reliable information, to avoid fake news. First of all, it has to go well beyond that. We need comprehensive media literacy education across the curriculum from the youngest ages right now. We teach young people to read text, to read print. There is no reason we shouldn't be teaching from the earliest years how to read screens, how to read audio, how to, you know, all the different inputs that come to, to young people now. I am most interested from a news and information perspective for the metaverse in two of the platforms that um, are not game platforms necessarily, and that's virtual reality and augmented reality. Virtual reality, I think about from the perspective of the news consumer. We know that there are ways to create empathy for someone's situation by immersing another person in that world. I've been through a VR experience where I looked in, a, in what looked like a mirror while I was inside virtual reality and I thought, saw myself. And then they asked me to kind of duck down and come back up. And when I came back up, I was a black woman. And instantly things started happening in the virtual space around me that could happen to a black woman, how she was being treated, the race, racist comments, the ways people looked at her, the ways people interacted with her. And it was very quick that I bought into this and, and started to feel fear, feel ang anger, feel anxiety. Um, and the, the question that we still haven't answered is when you come out of that, how long does that last? And does it transfer to the real world? But there's some evidence that, that it does. So in terms of immersing people in someone else's situation, getting them to care, which is the first step in getting them to act, I think virtual reality can be incredibly powerful. Augmented reality, I see as a way of tagging the world with information so that as I'm walking around the world, I, my phone may be, you know, we all carry an augmented reality device in our pockets right now, a smartphone. And as I'm walking around, my phone might tell me, something happened here and I will be able to get an image or text or audio of something important that happened on that spot. How do we help children understand news doesn't happen just far away. News doesn't happen just to other people. News happens in my community. News happens to people I know. News influences how I live my life. And if you can show them very, very substantially the things that happen in their community, in their neighborhood, and get them to participate in that as well. When they know about something that's happened, they can create their own spots for augmented reality. I think that's the way we, we start to use, uh, use news for authenticity, or use metaverse for authenticity. I think young people will be a key part of gathering information, gathering the news around them. They see the world from a different perspective than the older people around them. And if we can start to respect that and 
look at their ability to create. I think that's, that's the key right now, is we think of young people as consumers of media. More and more, they are creators of media, and we need to learn how to incorporate that into what we as adults, what we as decision makers around the world consume and the perspectives that, that we take in.